Hello, GLC203. My name is Mr. Balada, and I will be facilitating your online course shell uh, via D2L Brightspace. Um, I guess this is a tutorial uh, video, one of, of several that I will be sending links your way for you to access and uh, and view as a reminder, and uh, even in, in general just for uh, tutorials. Uh, so what you see in front of you is essentially uh, the course shell that you will be using throughout the month of July. And uh, essentially, there's a, a course homepage that I use and you have access to. Content, where you should be reading um, and observing the learning expectations and goals for each unit. There's discussions. Dropbox, where you will submit your work, and uh, just a reminder to uh, to submit any work or assignments to the Dropbox in either RTF, PDF, or Word documents only. I cannot read or open pages. So those of you opening or using Apple products, please be very aware that uh, it will prevent me from reading your work, okay? So um, there's disclaimers um, that I sent out and reminders in your syllabus about this as well. There are no quizzes in the course. There's a class list that has uh, everyone in our course uh, group uh, and their usernames. So if you need to send someone an email, you can do so. There's a grades posting as, as well. So let's go to the content section. And um, there you'll see uh, course information, okay? Uh, the syllabus will be updated very shortly. Um, student information and your first unit. The entire course begins on July the 4th, uh, officially on July 5th. I make it available on July the 4th. And uh, essentially, you need to <clears throat> go through uh, the module, Unit 1. As you can see, the first activity... Uh, assignment one is about all oh, the places you will go click on the assignment it's a good uh, good idea to go through the learning goals and, and read the uh, comprehension that goes along with each assignment but you do need a copy and I found uh, copies online um, but I also have a hard copy because I have a two-year-old at home and uh, I read Dr. Seuss to her all the time uh, the first assignment is about reading uh, all the places you will go and answering questions in a Word document and submitting it to the Dropbox, okay? Um, as you scroll down, there are activities and, and links that uh, should work uh, for most of you, um, and they should work. If they don't, uh, I will put these uh, handouts in our Google Drive folder, which I've shared with those TCDSB students who have uh, Google username passwords. I think I only have three or four students in our section who are non-TCDSB, and I will contact them very shortly. <clears throat> but if there's handouts that you need, I can uh, I can uh, share them with you via Google, okay? Uh, read um, the assignment expectations and uh, answer the questions as if um, you are reading the instructions yourself. And this could be done in a Word document and uh, submit it to the Dropbox, and I'll show you what the Dropbox looks like. You'll see um, items called Portfolio Tools, or IPP. These are uh, items that you can uh, definitely work on and then submit in um, your portfolio that's due at the end of the course, okay? Um, as you scroll down, assignment number two is My Strength pro uh, Profile. Uh, again, complete the following assignment and submit to the Dropbox. Read the expectations step by step, and um, essentially your strength profile should be approximately 150 to 200 words in length or three to four paragraphs. Um, and essentially it's a description of um, your learning skills and, and your strengths and weaknesses as, as a student, not only as a student in the classroom, but also um, some of you are involved in athletics as well. And they give you suggestions uh, via the rubric um, that will help you achieve a high level of success in answering um, the details of your uh, profile. Um, again, uh, that's for unit one work, okay? 
So that's just a sample of, of some of the work that you need to work on for unit one. These assignments have due dates, okay? And you'll find the due dates in your course calendar as well as at, at, at the end of, of each unit, as you scroll down, okay? Um, they'll tell you the due date for each of the units. The due dates are very important, and I sent out an email to everyone in the class with a checklist of scheduled due dates. And um, the first week is very busy, and uh, you're working towards achieving a good midterm mark. Please see the calendar uh, for details, okay? Um, <clears throat> going back to um, unit two, Okay, there's also a few assignments that are due on July the 14th. Okay, make sure you read the learning goals, the content that goes with this assignment. And um, Unit 2 asks you, uh, once you've read the content, to create a career cluster. Okay, so read the expectations. It gives you options as to um, how you want to communicate this career cluster and then you submit it to the Dropbox, okay? Now, mostly these links do work. Sometimes the links are broken. Um, there's no reason why you can't do some research on your own to supplement uh, your learning as you go. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, okay? Uh, assignment number two is called Pathway of the Pioneers or Exploring Ed Resources, okay? Some of the teachers have decided to uh, do one or the other. Uh, I think they, they're similar, so I'm giving you the, um, uh, the details through um, Pathway of the Pioneers. And, you know, our parents, our relatives, our neighbors, people we know, um, uh, our employers, if those of you who are working part-time already, um, uh, are good ways to seek information from uh, because these people uh, are wiser, they're older, they've been through, hopefully, you know, a good level of education, experience, and just by talking to them, you get a sense of what the economy was like when they were growing up and what pathway they chose uh, as individuals, okay? Uh, so this will involve some uh, inquiry skills. You'll eventually be interviewing someone you know um, uh, about a career that you're interested in. And um, it, it's, it's an invaluable experience to have, okay? Uh, so they give you a rubric as well, and um, essentially um, there's an IPP portfolio tool that you can also uh, watch some news videos in the news section uh, of D2L, which will come in handy. Now you'll notice that I've given you some bonus opportunities uh, through the discussions. In the news section, I do uh, tend to uh, embed some interesting videos and even sometimes uh, film scenes or uh, music videos uh, that pertain to our course in so many ways. Uh, and I think, you know, it just makes the course a little bit more interesting. Uh, of course, there's some Catholic graduate expectations that um, very short messages and uh, you should consider uh, uh, viewing as part of your uh, uh, work in this course. But then you'll end, uh, notice that there are discussion bonuses, okay? So by watching this, this video, uh, you go to the discussion post and uh, you respond to um, a comment or a question. For example, the first one is Alessia Cara's Wild Thing song. Um, I ask you to go to the discussion area and um, post your sentiments about the song. So what do you think the message in the song by Alessia Cara entitled Wild Things is about? Discuss briefly, use a lyric of significance and discuss, okay? Students who do these bonus items will notice that um, there's an opportunity to earn up to 5% uh, of their final mark, okay? The little star in your grade section indicates those students who throughout the semester, some of you will do all of them, uh, some of you will do some, but, uh, you know, um, it, it's up to 5% that you can earn if you decide to, to do all of them. So what you see is the grades um, weighting, okay? Um, by unit, uh, one, two, and three, and of course, unit four is your portfolio, okay? It's all broken down, 70-30 uh, split, okay? 70% term, 30% portfolio. There is no exam in this course, um, and uh, each item is worth um, a certain weight, okay? Okay, uh, so this is the first tutorial. Get familiar with using D2L. Um, the Dropbox is, is uh, ready to go. 
And um, the next tutorial will show you how to upload 